WSSU Ram Nation, we need a head basketball coach. It's mid-June, Cleo Hill has been gone now for almost three weeks, and we need a basketball coach. And I'm here to tell you why Ricky Wilson should be the next head basketball coach at Winston-Salem State University. I know, just the other day, I told you why Paul Davis should be the head coach at Winston-Salem State University. If you didn't see that video, you can go check it out over here. But now, today, I'm going to tell you why Ricky Wilson should be the next head coach at Winston-Salem State University. No, actually, I got one thing better. I'm going to let Cleo Hill tell you why he should be the head coach. I'm going to let Jalen Austin tell you why he should be the head coach. And I'm going to let him tell you why he should be the head coach. I got a chance to catch up with all three. Uh, coach Cleo Hill's going away party. And I think they can do a better job of stating the case for him than I can. So here we go. Things that we built here, the championships that you see on the screen right now, it would probably be the best thing, very nice, if, if we did continue that um, with a coach like Ricky Wilson. I think he has learned the conference, uh, he's learned Division II, um, he's passionate about HBCU, passionate about student athletes, and I think that will continue what we built. Starting in 2019. Interim head coach over here at Winston-Salem State University. Uh, we're here for the uh, for the farewell for Coach Cleo Hill, but you're still uh, at the helm of the program. Let's talk about, first off, just what it's been like for you to be a part of Coach Hill's staff for the last six years. Um, it's been amazing. You know, um, Coach Hill brought me here six years ago when I was a head coach at Baton Rouge Community College. And, um, we had a great ride, man. Coach Hill has been a friend for 40, over 40 years. And, you know, he told me if I would come work with him that we would do some special things. And, you know, true to form, we, we did some great things, man. It, it was it's kind of sad, you know, uh, watching the old footage and, and some of the things that we've done over the years. But I know he's going to do something that he, he dreamt about doing. I know he'll be great, and I appreciate everything that he did for me. What's it been like for you since you were named interim? And, uh, you know, just, you know, you've been a head coach before, but just, you know, talk about being in this role kind of as, as you're waiting things out. It's, it's been good. Um, you know, A.D. Thomas has been a great help. Um, you know, she's been guiding me about what, what we need to do because as interim, I can't do but so much right now. Um, but, you know, some of my day-to-day -day activities that I've done before in reference to scheduling and different things like that I'm still doing. Um, you know, I've, I've put, a, I put a few guys in my pocket. You know, um, so if I'm fortunate enough to get the job, that um, you know we'll have something to go to once once they name me the coach. If that's if that's so, yeah, I want I want to coach at Winston Salem State. You know, we built something really special, and I want to keep it going. Um, you know, I, I was a big part in what we did here. Um, I know the conference. Um, I know the coaches. I I, I I pretty much know everything about the CIAA that there is to know from our time here. Coach Hill afforded me and Coach Beck to do a lot of things. Um, within the program and from him doing that really helped me and really, you know, helped me more or less for this position. You know, um, I always, I was a head coach before, but I always believed in myself and I know I can be a head coach, but the CIAA is different. So the experience here and the things that he let me do, you know, it kind of really um, got me ready for, um, you know, this opportunity that, that's coming in front of me now. Jackson, what do you want uh, folks, what do you want uh, people to know about you, you know, as a coach and, and, you know, what you would be like as, you know, as the, as the head coach of this program? Um, you know, well, I'm not, I'm not Cleo Hill Jr. <laughs> um, you know, I don't have a bald head. Uh, but but one, one thing that I, I, I do is, that I will do is, you know, keep the program the way it was. You know, I like to tell people that we built the house. I'm not going to tear the house down. Now I'm going to add some additions to the house. Um, I, might, I might put some new paint on the house. But the structure is there. We built a great structure, a great foundation, and I'm just going to improve on that. But where are we now as far as being able to get guys to come in that are not committed? Again, I can't do any of that because I'm just right. an intern. Right. Um, now, there's some guys committed, 
But, um, you know, I can't talk about that. But, you know, those guys are waiting to see what happens in reference to, the you know, who they hire as a coach. Hopefully that will be me. Um, and if I am, you know, afforded the job, you know, I'm, I'm going to hit the ground running. You know, there's still players out there. You know, this is Winston-Salem State. We're going to get some players. I'm not worried about that. But you have to go through the process. Uh, Coach Wilson is, uh, is uh, in them now. Um, you know, obviously they just got to make their decision. But um, what about Coach Wilson makes you feel like, you know, he could be there out of the job? I just feel like Coach Wilson, uh, he's seen, you know, Winston within the last six years to see how much we've accomplished so far. So I feel like he's basically the best person for the job since, you know, he'll be able to step right in and continue what Coach Hill had playing and had going on. So he's definitely able to, you know, keep us above flow. And I feel like he'll be a great uh, coach for the job. All right, guys. So the case has been stated. Let us know what you guys think. You know, Coach Wilson has the experience as a head coach. He's been in the CIAA for the last five years right alongside Cleo Hill. As you heard him say, he got a chance to do a lot of the duties and Coach Hill always conferred with his assistants. I would always see him talking to them. He always held them in a high regard. So obviously he thinks he should get the job, but you know, the job has to uh, go out. I understand interviews are going on as we speak. And uh, so we'll know shortly who will be the next head coach. Let us know what your thoughts are. What did you think about Paul Davis? What did you think about the cage for Ricky Wilson? And, of course, there's going to be another one. Uh, Waukeven Baysmore will be featured as well. And uh, we'll see what happens going forward. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for all the love.